Salute to all my people. Y'all have the like button if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel, subscribe right now. This probably be one of the, you know, this probably be one of the realest contents I felt like I put out. First and foremost, you know, I'm gonna talk about Vanessa Bryan. I'm gonna get that out the way um, because she got what she deserved. And then I'm gonna get what a lot of you guys probably here to see. And it's me to speak about Kwame losing over a thousand subscribers and pretty much every other day. He lose almost a thousand subscribers. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, subscribe right now. We're going to get into it. Now, let's talk about Vanessa Bryant first. Vanessa Bryant is the wife of Kobe Bryant. Um, she was awarded $16 million, and rightfully so. This woman deserves every bit of that $16 million, in my opinion, because when her husband and her daughter lost their life, someone leaked the photos of them being deceased. You know, man, what's more disrespectful than that? First off, nobody really imagined Kobe Bryant, you know, losing his life that early. You know, this is a man who was iconic in basketball. This is a man who, you know, uh, LeBron James had just broke his record. And like the next day, if I'm not mistaken, Kobe Bryant was no longer here. So, you know, many people thought it was a hoax. I know I thought, I definitely thought it was a hoax. I didn't even think it was real. You know, like, like Kobe Bryant did. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, ain't no way. To see that when you cut on ESPN and everywhere, they was actually... You know, reporting that Kobe Bryant was no longer here. And not only that, he lost his daughter aside of him. Um, that was the most unfortunate thing. And I you know, like I said, I still send a prayer to his family, to his fans, to his loved ones, um, to see how everything, you know, uh, unfolded. You know, it's unfortunate to see. Like I said, I'm gonna touch this just briefly. If you, you know, if you're a Kobe Bryant fan, you know, you gotta love seeing his wife get what she deserved. Can you imagine, you know, being a wife of whoever or the husband of whoever and you lose your child and your, you know, your your significant other? Um, and then, you know, the photos of them no longer being here gets leaked on the internet for a like, view, comment, you know, for a like, view, comment, share, whatever it is, you know, whatever on social media that they leak these photos for, you know, um, it is going to show you, man, there's some sick people out here, you know, people is doing things that, you know, for money, you know, TMZ or buy anything, you know, I'm, I'm not talking Kobe Bryant, I'm just talking in general, you know, people just want to go viral, people want to be the person that puts something out first, even if it means somebody's demise, even if it means somebody's child, it don't matter, you know, so to see that this woman won $16 million, I'm glad to see it. She deserved it. And at the end of the day, like I say, um, kudos to her, man. Anybody that comes to this page, you know, because they see that Vanessa uh, Bryan is in the title, um, you know, rightfully so. I, I feel like she deserved that and I'm happy to see her get it. But one thing I will say, can you imagine being her and have to go to court and relive those moments, you know, fighting for your husband, fighting for your daughter, relive those moments and actually have to see those photos again. There's no one thing about court. You know, I've seen something in the reporter. She have to watch those photos again. You know, watching her husband deceased, watching her daughter, etc. You know, that is something deep. Um, and she deserved more than that. You know, they, they could have gave her 50 million, 100 million. There's no money around that will replace that, you know, that moment or that, you know, that taking their you know, their security, you know, taking their, their moment of grieving, you know what I'm saying? And there's nothing around, there's nothing nobody could do, there's no money that can fix that. But at the end of the day, if you can give her 16 million or award her 16 million, that's the least you can do in my opinion. Now, outside of that, like I said, if you're new to the channel, subscribe right now. Y'all hit the like button if y'all haven't already. We're going to talk about Kwame Brown. Now, Kwame, my man, like, you know what I'm saying? Many of you guys may be new to the channel. I got, a, uh, I got subscribers starting to come in again. Now, Kwame Brown, man, this 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 is the dude that you know showed me a lot of support in the beginning. You know, I know I'm starting to get subscribers again. A lot of guys just you know they picking up on the new content that I'm putting out. You really don't know the history of my page. I did what I'm doing now in the beginning where I talked about celebrity news, you know, industry things, trendy topics, so on and so forth, and just so happened Kwame Brown went viral. You know, Kwame Brown was an ex NBA or is an ex NBA number one draft pick. And you know, and I, and I, uh, I seen him go viral, and I'm saying it was just another story that I was just covering. You know, I'm just touching bases, throwing things at the wall, and it stuck with me. You know, instantly he came in, he you know he saluted me, he shot on my page out, and we've been clicking ever since. Over a year's time, we've been riding, and you know, at the end of the day, I want to see this brother do gr do great things. I want to see you know any any brother do great things. If you're a brother that's you know um you know about building, you know what I'm saying. I'm not really what to do is I just want to destroy. And I know some of you guys may feel however you feel about Kwame Brown. I'm just talking about just a personal experience. So what I'm gonna say, I just want this to be known that it, it ain't you no, know, it's no knock to bro. And if I still had your nine, you know, if we still had direct access, I hit you behind the scenes, man. I done moved on, got different numbers, all type of stuff. So at the end of the day, this just you know, this just some you know, real what I feel. You know what I'm saying personally. At the end of the day, now Kwame Brown is losing a thousand subscribers pretty much every other day. This is a man that had like 420,000, if I'm not mistaken. He's down to like 392,000 subs. So that's approximately getting close to 30,000 subs being lost. Now, in the process of losing 30,000 subs, you see Kwame Brown talk about YouTube. He talk about everything other than what I feel as though the real reason why you lost so many subscribers, bro. Um, 
I don't, I don't think it has nothing to do with YouTube. Like, you know, you, you like to say YouTube is playing with your numbers. YouTube is doing this. YouTube is doing that. You signed with Quarter Lab to protect you from certain things. Um, and at the end of the day, you did what you felt was best for your situation. And I respect it. Um, but at the end of the day, I don't think that it's many other guys around YouTube that, you know, if YouTube just wanted to, YouTube would just take your channel down, bro. They don't got no reason to pull your numbers down, take some of your subscribers. If they don't want you around, this is their platform, bro. It's not owned by us. If they want you down, they just take you down. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? So that's one thing that I feel as though it's not YouTube, bro. If YouTube had a problem with Kwame Brown in particular, they would just destroy your channel. It's not the people, it, well, it's not YouTube that have a problem with you. It's everybody that, that, that you help be something on YouTube. You get what I'm saying? I think your problem is you trusted too many people. You know what I'm saying? I say this with love. I say this with respect on me. You, 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 you trusted everybody. You gave everybody a shout out. You played, you played everybody's you no know, content on your channel. You know, you tried to help everybody win. You know, you, you, you fell victim to the things that I look at as, you know, me in a way as well. I, you know, I tried to, I, I tried to see the good in the people. You know, we all black. You came here, said mama's cooking. You felt as though, you know, you wanted to let everybody use your content. Just, just listen to this. Imagine in your life, if you just trusted everybody, you gave everybody things that belong to you. Your content belong to you. You let everybody use it. If they said some good things about you, you played it on your channel. You know, every, you know, it's just a, everybody need a trust factor. You get what I'm saying? And one thing we know about trust, trust will get you killed, man. You know what I'm saying? Just trust in any and everybody. Can you imagine in your real life if you just trusted everybody? Your life probably be in danger. You know, your children probably be in danger. Your household probably be in danger. I say all this loosely, man, and I say this with respect, homie. Um, you know, man, I, like I always say, bro, I appreciate what you did for, you know, in the beginning of helping my platform. Um, but at the end of the day, I feel like, man, you know, you, you, you know, where you at now, homie? You beefing with the same people. People just became bored with the content, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, don't, don't, I know people gonna top it, chop it down. You know, the people that want it to be something. It's nothing. This is, this is some brotherly conversation. You beefing with people every day and you responding to people every day that don't matter. You know, you responding to who you call state drunk. You responding to this person, that person. People that you even think is on your side. I don't really care, homie. Like, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 they offer self. They want to see their numbers go up. So they will even use your content on a page and people will still go watch your content on a page but then turn around and say they don't like your content how does that make sense man at the end of the day even if you feel like somebody is for you or against you i feel like it's not youtube i don't I, like i say man I, i'm gonna simplify this you know because i can go into deep detail but it's not that because i already know you know people are looking for a reason to be something man contradiction in so many ways we all contradict ourselves many people look at different things and say you're just a contradiction um I'm a contradiction. That content a contradiction. Everybody's a contradiction in a way. You know, at the end of the day, and the person that's typing, they have done some contradicting things. This is the human side. You get what I'm saying? But what I will say is, I think trust got you down 30,000 subscribers, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just trusting all these people. You know what I'm saying? And then turn around. And all them people that you trusted is all now going against you. And aside of that right now, they looking for anything to say, this is why I don't like you. That's why you're seeing... The new wave of why they don't like you, you know, rather, you know, certain individuals and all these other things. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, that's how this game go, man. And, you know, I wish you well, bro. Um, continue to do your thing, man. But me personally, like I said, I said this probably three, four months ago, and I'm going to say it again. Um, if I was you, I wouldn't deal with nobody, homie. Like, just, just, I'm, I'm talking about the women. I'm talking about the men. Nobody, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just do you, man. Make, make your content, homie. Stop shouting people out. Don't shout out nobody, including me. Just do your thing, in my opinion, um, because I feel like, you know, or, or you can do what you want to do, you're a grown man, but I feel like, you know, trusting all them people, man, in the end, they start getting a little traction on their page, and the next thing you know, they all turn on you, I mean, that's when you start seeing it in your numbers, you know, um, you started out being on the camera, you started out with your hookah, you started out in your truck, now you don't even show your face on the camera no more, it's you know, a lot of the content, it hasn't evolved, you know, many people want to see the content evolve, and they don't want to hear the same thing every day. Um, and it seems as though, you know, whether it's state drunk, whoever you feel, whatever, you know, um, all these other dudes, you know, let them talk about you, homie. You know, that's what we made for, you know, it's this algorithm, you know, but when you sit around on your page and devote all your page is talking about them, you have now gave them the power because they small, dude. All these dudes is under 50,000 subs. You was at 400 some thousand subs. They punching up, you punching down. That's the difference in my opinion. Each one teach one. As long as we have each other, we can continue to go together. I say all that with love, my boy. I want to see you win, man. But at the end of the day, hey, man, it is what it is, bro. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Turn on y'all post notification. I could have went into deeper detail, but, you know, I'm not going to make this be something I'm going to make 
19 videos about. You know, many of you people know that, you know, who I rock with. Y'all know that, you know, I want to see these brothers be great. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, all I can do is do what I do on my end. And we're going to continue to do what we do. I love you all. Each one teach my love and respect.